I'm Noralyn Snow Kahn. I'm the administrator at the William E. Christofferson Salt Lake Veterans Home. We are an Eden sure. facility that integrates animals and plants and patient-centered care. And over the years, I have had many animals. I have been administrator for 25 years in long-term care. We've had cats and dogs and goats and all kinds of different hour animals. But over the years, um, for the last 17 years, I've had kangaroos. They are baby rats. They usually come to me about four months old. We keep them till they're about a year and a half. People ask me why a kangaroo. They love to be loved. And they're not like a cat or a dog or, or a bird. They really want to be touched and held and loved. And they make a difference in the lives of those they are with. Right now I'm at the Veterans Nursing Home and the residents love to hold her and sit with her and talk to her and she is the 15th kangaroo I've had in the, seven, in the last 17 years. She um, hops through the building. She will go down to residents' rooms and have peanuts with them, jump up on their beds, have peanuts with them, and spend that one-on-one -on -one time that we can't always do. Um, oftentimes, residents die of nothing more than loneliness, and here at the VA nursing home, we want to make sure none of that happens causes smiles. It helps staff to have a better day. They can come have in and have Lulu time. Or it makes it so that a veteran may sit and hold and touch her and feed her a bottle. It's known to reduce behaviors. It's known to reduce blood pressure. Just having that one-on-one -on -one time. Oftentimes, families will call here and say, you know, I'm coming up to see Dad. Can we come see Lulu, Lulu too? And so they'll bring their great grandkids and it makes it so they're not so afraid to come to the nursing home because they can also come see Lulu. So in the years that I've had the kangaroos, it's made a difference in thousands of veterans' lives. She goes to the hospital, she goes out to school, she goes with me to meetings and everyone gets to touch and love her and be unconditionally loved back. Many people want to know how old they are when we get them, where they go. So Lulu came to us at four and a half pounds. And um, we will keep her till she's about a year, year and a half old, depending on her behavior. As soon as they turn into naughty teenagers, they can't stay in the building with me anymore because we have so many small children that want to come see her. So. She'll then go, Lulu looks like Lulu's going to go to a farm up in the northeast where she'll just live out her life. So we get them, we take care of them for a year and a half, and then they are free to go live a life as a kangaroo would. So it doesn't matter how much you love them and, and how close you become, they're still wild animals. And as they get older, they just divert back. You'd never know it. <laughs>